And what I'm gonna do now is get some food only at Brecky. And then I gotta go to Argentina. Like I said, I've checked out, I've stamped out of Brazil already. I've been, for almost a day already, I've been an illegal alien in Brazil. So I got to get the hell out. Tchau, Brasil. Adeus e obrigado. É, now we'll see each other, Brazil. Thank you for everything. Don't think I have to do anything here since passport is done. All I do is rock up to Argentina, I've been told. And we're back in Argentina. Buenas noches. Eh, holandés, pasaporte. Y... Sí, vamos. ¿Quedo aquí? Sí, sí, aquí no. Bueno, tengo que habituar otra vez al español. Perdón, hablé algún tiempo portugués. Y no es bueno mi español. Ni holandés tampoco es bueno. No más, antes era. O sea, cinco años que no hable bien. Just my uh, luck, they weren't happy with my uh, copies of my motorcycle documents because I lost mine. Wow, I've used this. Uh, Bolivia before twice already they like to ask about it but now I need to uh, photoshop something official so I'm staying one more night in no man's land not the smartest thing to stay illegal here in Brazil now but if I kept going they would confiscate my motorcycle just for the hell of it you know yeah nice okay we'll regroup we'll figure this out Epa, tô a ver. Tá. So lucky. We're in for a night or days of confusion. It's going to be rolling the dice. <laughs> Watch your head. This is really a head chopper, mate. <laughs> Not boy. I'm so lucky that I can do this. <laughs> Epa, I don't have any luck to do this. No, it's not a joke. It's serious. So uh, this is a bit of a situation. I'm leaving Alp in Brazil and I'm going to Argentina. And uh, tomorrow trying to get back in. It's a funny situation we got ourselves in. It's 9.30 at night now. New city back in Argentina. 
no alp. I'm a drifter without his horse. It's weird, man. Plus I'm speaking Spanish again. Honey, I'm home, sort of, sort of. So I gotta explain what's going on. But first of all, th th this is all possible is thanks because I know someone on the Brazilian side um, who manages custom stuff. And I left my motorbike with him. So lucky that I had his, his, his number. We got talking yesterday and that he replied to my messages. <laughs> and that on my way out of Brazil, I didn't do the exit for the document for the motorcycle yet. I just went straight to Argentina because I thought they'd done it yesterday, but they only did my passport because they have the passport separate from border station. So if I had done my paperwork for Alp, I would have, might have to come back. Oh, wait, you, what do you mean you have to come back? Oh, what, because your paperwork isn't, is, it, is a copy? Well, you can come back to Brazil. Oh, you mean you already uh, went into Brazil once with that paperwork? Yeah, but now it's different, buddy. Now that we know that, it's a copy. Oh, and by the way, you can't come back into Brazil. You know, you already spent your 90 days. And then what, turn around Argentina again? I don't know. They take Alp. Someone would have ended, if I wouldn't have been able, if I, ah man, just a lot of variables. I'm just really happy that I didn't get in a situation where a Alp was impounded by customs and I still have a chance to come back to Brazil if they're a bit easy at the border. You know, I don't pay too much attention. And my vehicle document is valid for six months. <laughs> I feel, I feel so clandestino, you know, it's like so. Doing, doing shady business, man. But you need to get back to Brazil. And sort out the paperwork of Alp, which is in real paperwork. But I have to make it nice and real looking. Yep, confusion. Original document, I don't know. To get it from the Netherlands, it's complicated. And takes time. Shit, let's hope tomorrow we can get back in, eh? Good morning, peoples, here in Bernardo de Iguen, Iguen, in Argentina, with the border of Brazil, without Alp walking back hope you're doing good out there on the other side myself i'm a bit in limbo so this morning we're gonna try and get back into brazil so maybe he doesn't know everything might let me back in about noticing the whole uh oh yeah european union dutch passport you can't come back in yet but i have to because elf is there right right so now we're going to the border see if I can get back in all right let's do this wish me luck all right that's Argentina but I forgot about the part where I have to walk up to Felicia Federal still from here what a morning what a few days it's been, eh? Describe my mood yesterday evening. Still not there yet, though. in Brazil got back in got stamped back in praise the Lord and um, at one point even hear him talking about vehicle he's pointing like vehicle as I said I'm walking 
they stayed casual about it, but that was the point. It was like, oh no, they're going to say, hey, you still have a vehicle inside of the country? I don't know exactly the Brazilian rules for that. So I'm back in. I'm so lucky I didn't do the border checkout yesterday for the motorbike. Nice. There's only one downside to this whole situation though. That's that I missed my complimentary breakfast at the motel in Argentina, which only started at 7 and I left at 7. So, I'll have to compensate with a nice legal Brazilian breakfast here. Meu pastel, cafezinho. Cheers. So by the way, when I got to uh, Polícia Federal to do the passport, uh, the passport, there was a small line and there were two guys. I was only expecting one guy. And I think one guy was still from last night. He started, the, he was still doing the late shift and uh, <laughs> I looked tired. The next one was the old guy and the way things were with people in front of me, I would end up with, with, with that guy, not the old guy. And then he was getting angry. The guy with two people, he said, oh, you guys don't have funds, you want to work here? As in, he wasn't going to let them into the country and he was upset and I was like, I was going to be the one after that. I was like, shit, I want to show my passport to this guy. I want to be stamped by, by the old guy. And then I just waited, waited outside. There was nobody coming in anymore and then I was like, okay, let's go. Grab the passport, go in. Uh, I look straight to the old guy, I walk towards him like, I want to give my passport to you, but not making it look forced. <laughs> and then the guy on the right, the angry dude, he's looking at me, but I just given it to the old guy, was stamping me into the country. It was a bit hectic. Like, oh shit. Help, I'm back girl, and I thought I might lose you for days. We good, miss you girl. Cuidado com cabeça. Vamos lá, o gypsy. Tá, tchau. Now let's go to the hotel. <laughs> What's that? Olha, final que era esse Opa! Vamos, vamos. Vamos. Mudei, mudei de consciência. <laughs> Boa tarde. Tudo bom? Holy shit! I just caught my phone! The new phone! All of a sudden I'm accelerating, it's just whoa, it's just flickering around here. Destination is on the right. I know. And it just starts dropping and I flick with my hand and then catch it. Oh I didn't have it on the on with the rubber band. Oh man! <laughs> it's true what they say. Oh man. Man, I wish I'd recorded that. That was a catch. Holy shit. That was that was scary.